Seaweed is seen as a waste product here in Margate. It often washes up on the shore and it will smell and it will decay by us using it and harvesting it ourselves and putting it into luxury products we're able to create that dialogue with the local community about how it's not just a waste product it can be a really beneficial one for the body. I really appreciate the fact that I can be on the beach and doing something good for the community and call it work. Aquas currently exists as a 100% natural ingredient supplier. We create beauty products, skincare products, and a whole range of homeware products as well. Every product has a reason to exist. That allows us to not just be the seaweed skincare brand, that allows us to be that progressive beauty brand that concentrates on how we can amplify the natural world, how we can create game-changing products, and how we can also pioneer new materials to present the full package of sustainability and beauty. One of my favourite parts of the job, picking seaweed. It's great to just be on the beach. Tide came in pretty quickly, so I've got a bit wet. Seaweed grows in abundance around the coast and the way that we pick it, we cut it from the higher up on the frond so that it can regrow. If the seaweed's just pulled off the chalk reefs, then it won't grow again. But we're very careful with the way that we harvest. Everything that we do tries to have a positive impact on the environment and the ocean. And so we use the seaweed that's available to us here. We use bladderwrack. Bladderwrack has incredibly nourishing antiseptic. Then we use kelp. Kelp is incredibly calming and cooling and soothing. This one is serrated rack. Seaweed contains a natural alginate, so it's really softening on the skin, really hydrating. It also has a natural iodine in it. When it's used in our seaweed wraps at the treatment rooms, it can really help with joint pain. We do like to collect different varieties as it allows us to showcase the different bioactive properties in the marine algae around our coasts. We've got just under a box in here and probably the same in yeah, this just one. Under box in this one as well. We usually try and fill them up, but the tide's coming. quite in. heavy as well, so just make sure we can carry them back. The plan now is to take a box back to wash and dry, and the other box will go to the treatment rooms for seaweed wraps and seaweed baths. So I was getting some of the seaweed out of the dehydrator. Now it's kind of all kind of dried up. Um, so this means we can now kind of ground it down, uh, put it through the extraction process. My favourite product is the perfumes. The scents are based on different locations around the Kent coast. They've got a great story and they smell really good too. We also try and make everything surrounding that product, including the packaging and the way it's distributed, as sustainable as possible too. It's an industry dictated by excess packaging. It's an industry dictated by plastic and litter pollution and everything else. So I think what we would love for Heckles is to be the amplifier and the sharer of our resources, partnering up with Estee Lauder and helping us to get that global platform of how you can create a beautiful skincare brand, a beautiful home and fragrance brand that's dictated by nothing more than sustainability and design and get it out there into a wider audience. Heckles has always been a pioneer of new materials and we champion smaller suppliers as well. I think that Heckles is about to be on the cusp of some really, really new, exciting innovations. I think it's always impossible to achieve this mission as you scale. So we've been laser focused as to how we grow in a sustainable manner, how we constantly highlight and amplify new materials and new resources, and how we never overconsume anything out of the natural world. <laughs> You're going to be excavated on the beach in Margate and they'll find all the, the Heckles remnants. <laughs>